No business model written anywhere could have predicted the events of this March, a nationwide indefinite shutdown. The first reported case of COVID-19 in the Bahamas was followed by a rapid increase that triggered the closure of all non-essential businesses. It meant that the major sources of revenue for Cable Bahamas, Rev and Alive, were hanging closed for business signs on storefronts nationwide. Cable Bahamas' CEO, Franklin Butler, and his executive team faced a potential crisis. With their retail stores closed, hotels and businesses shut down, revenue was in a free fall. All of these industries were seriously impacted by the COVID lockdowns, which meant that basically commerce in the country came to complete stop. For us, luckily, we are fortunate because we have a residential part of our business, which allows you know, people who wanted to work from home, who had the ability, who had the technology in place to really be able to work from home. And so for us, we, 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 we obviously saw a spike on the residential side of our business, but on the commercial side, we were challenged and we remain challenged. With thousands of customers confined to their homes, there was an increase in demand for cable and internet service. We had upstream issues with people who were using video uh, platforms like Zoom and Microsoft Teams and otherwise who said, listen, um, I'm having difficulties connecting and be able to speak to video conferencing. So we've been tweaking our network ever since the, the start of COVID-19. I think we're now at a place where most people have generally been able to work effectively from home, but there's still a lot more to do. Hundreds of staff members were working from home as well. One company with two different operations and very different operating manuals. Cable has been around 25 years. You know, we tend to get set in our ways, so agility becomes a challenge. I will say to you, when we think about us versus what I would say best in class, if you think about uh, Alive, right, which is a fresh startup. In effectively 24 hours, they went from being in office to out of office. It took us four or five days. So a major accomplishment by all standards, but the reality is, is agility is one where when you have tenure in business and you become set in your ways, you are challenged. In a crisis, there are really two choices in business. You can close up and go home or quickly adapt and fit the new environment. Historically, we had over 40,000 customers that come to the mall store every week to pay a bill, to replace set-top boxes, which was a big change in culture for them, to know that the mall was closed and we didn't have our retail stores because under the emergency powers, we just weren't able to operate retail stores. But the good news for us is we were creative. We tried to be creative in our approach. Um, in the first instance, we tried to make sure that via remote working, whether that was the use of our contact center, to be able to troubleshoot customer issues, we really tried to focus on that. In addition to uh, what I call remote support, we additionally started to do YouTube videos to allow customers to learn how to do self-help. This is a big area that we think moving forward is going to continue to be an area that we have to explore with our customers and teach them the new ways of working in the 21st century and saying, listen, there's no need for a technician necessarily to come. If you need to replace your set-top boxes, here's a, here's a set-top box. In fact, right now, as you think about the activity around us, we've got these agents now delivering set-top boxes and, and modems to customers who are driving up, doing a, a pickup service. So this is the way that we're going to have to just transition our business. Goal number one find alternative ways for customers to pay. Once this whole COVID lockdown began, all right, we have one major location for Rev over at the Mall at Marathon. And as we know, access to the Mall at Marathon was cut off because once we had um, only 10 or more persons could congregate or be together, the mall had to close. Hence, we didn't have access to that location. So we had to kind of think very quickly and to move quickly to determine how could we provide access to our customers. Because at the end of every given month, we have about 40,000 persons coming through that facility at the mall. So there was only one location that was um, primarily open, it was the grocery stores, where persons were going to and people could still go to get food and, 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 and their, their supplies. And so we said, you know what, why don't we have a conversation AML is sitting right next door to our corporate office, have a conversation to see whether or not we can partner with them to set up a temporary location just to be able to provide access for our customers to come in to make a payment or to exchange a set-up box or, or what have you. All Solomon Super Centers became remote payment centers. They can pay their bill, they can sign up for an account. So all of the full suite of services that you get at our store at the mall, they can do it right here at Solomon's. But more had to be done. Paperless bills would cut costs, concierge service would provide product pickup and troubleshooting for Rev subscribers. 
and at every turn, customers were encouraged to utilize the online platforms. The transformation was underway. We were looking to do this as part of our, what we call, Connected Lifestyles initiative. Uh, that's the vision for our company. And so what, what COVID has enabled us to do is to accelerate this whole process. So we've partnered with a number of um, different uh, partners like Suncash, Mobile Assist, which will enable to push that digital enablement even faster than what we had anticipated. Suddenly, the much talked about digital era was here. The option to access and pay for services from a desktop, laptop or mobile phone was a reality. We have to have all the measures in that the, that the government are, are asking for at the moment to, to, to do our part to prevent the, the spread of the virus still. And that includes things like social distancing. You'll see the markers here on the, on, on the floor. And we're very, we're very uh, uh, clear when you come in, uh, we, somebody welcomes you, you have to um, sterilize your hands when you come in the store, so we're trying to keep the environment. The guys are regularly cleaning down all the surfaces. In some ways, our, our, um, the design of our stores with the, the cashier windows actually help because our, our team who are processing payments who probably see the most amount of people are actually protected behind the, the glass screens. Um, and, and so that, that kind of helps, so that we didn't really need to do much around that. But the, the team have done a, an incredible job. When the Rav store closed in March, few knew what the future would hold. Now we know, a remodeled store combining Rav and the live services. We want to create an experience for our customers. When they come in here, it will be an experience. And it will be an experience where not just by they can make payment. The payment is going to be a secondary function. But we're going to have a full suite of services in here, where they want to, whether they want to view content, whether they want to look at a set-top box, they want to um, look at our test our internet services. We're going to have all of those services available to our customers. So they can walk in here and have a full experience. Across the country, the joining of two brands, three flagship stores, 14 locations. And so now our customers will be able to go to those 14 locations and make payments. So rather than coming here then every month, you now have a choice. Whether you want to go to Southwest Plaza, you want to go to Cable Beach, whether you want to go to Palmdale, you can go to any of the particular locations. And then just around the corner, we have the, the main, one of the main Alive branches as well. And so we're going to be there as well. And so we're going to identify four of these locations where you'll have the full suite of payments. All the other locations, 10 locations, you can make a payment, but the full suite of services will be available at four locations throughout New Providence and similarly in Grand Bahama as well. Two very different retail footprints now operating in a shared space. Traditionally, Rev had us one store here in New Providence in the mall and another store in Grand Bahama. And so we've never had big retail presence from a Rev perspective. However, Alive has, has had, you know, numerous stores, I think over a dozen stores across the length and breadth of the Bahamas. You don't have to worry about coming to the mall where there's a crowd of people. You can go to any one of the Alive stores across the length and breadth of the Bahamas to one, be able to pay your bill. But in addition to that, we're going to be supplementing, I think, three or four stores in the Alive footprint where you're going to be able to change set-top boxes. You're going to be able to replace modems. You're going to be able to uh, do reconnects of service or be able to upgrade your services. So we're really going to try to see how we can leverage the power of the group and really to leverage the opportunities that already exist from a group perspective to make sure that we can serve our customers better. Everywhere there's an Alive flagship store um, is now being adapted for um, uh, working and welcoming um, Rev customers to, 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 to do what they need to do and predominantly in the first instance that's going to be paying their bills. So we've been very focused in the last 12 weeks while we've all been working in these very um, uh, tough conditions in lockdown. A lot of our team, you, you'll see in a minute, have been working very, very hard to kind of make sure that Rev bill payers can pay using all of the Alive assets. Rev agents will greet customers needing technical assistance in four separate Alive locations. It involves very, very um, close cooperation between the teams 
and uh, the Rev team who, who, who have all the expertise around set-top boxes and remote controls and all these kind of things that you would come to a store for to, to get assistance, um, they will be located in, in stores and uh, they, they will be there to help and we will make sure over time everybody's cross-trained in, in the, in, 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 with the different skills. In some ways it's, it's also easy. Um, we don't really sell just one product, we don't just sell a live, we sell 20 different types of device, we sell MiFi's, we sell Soho boxes, we sell cases, we sell chargers. Our teams are actually experts on lots and lots of different products and this will be another product in the mix. A new reality for a company that's always had different brands with distinct personalities. It's very important that we kind of utilize the retail space in the best possible way for both customers and we think giving the Rev customers the choice of 14 different places to go rather than two is, is, is clearly a massive benefit to, 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 to the Rev customers so that, that's kind of the real thinking plus it's given us the opportunity to jointly invest in these enhancements and you know it, it would be a lot slower if we weren't jointly invested in, the, in, the, in these things. The new reality in a world threatened by COVID-19 has forced a reliance on digital technology. In a world becoming less reliant on cash transactions, customers can now access an interactive website, apps, payment kiosks, online services and M-wallets. Cable Bahamas' subsidiary Alive is poised to take full advantage of this digital revolution. We thought a long time ago, you know, we got to move away from, you know, carrying this around. So how do we make people safe? And we've decided that, you know, working with partners like Canoe, MoneyMax, SunCash, Cash and Go, that we can actually convert your phone into a wallet as well. So you could just take a snapshot of your credit card or your debit card, for example, to upload cash into this digital wallet. And you could use that wallet to make payments all over. So you might have seen some place in the food stores, maybe you can use that to make payments. You've seen the cash and go around, but now with Alive and Rev working together, you can actually pay all your postpaid bills in these digital wallets. And you could also pay, you know, for your groceries, all kind of merchandise inside a digital wallet. And the reality of a global health scare necessitates innovation and change. You know, how do you feel safer when you're walking around using your phone? You, you don't have to carry that cash with you. You can zap cash to somebody in another family island. You could do it for your kids at uh, college or whatever it might be. So it's making things a lot easier. It's bringing the world to your doorstep. And you know, the great thing about Alive and Rev too is it's also making it convenient for you. So you could do this at home. You don't have to go to the gas station or have to come into a physical store to make these kind of payments. So a lot of people are nervous about using technology for, for banking, of course. That's a reasonable kind of worry. But what we've done it with Alive is we've worked with the best encryption software. All of our partners are licensed by the security, um, by the central bank, so it means that they're allowed to mon transfer money. And so Alive isn't doing this. We're not a money transfer business, but we're working with these incredible partners who have made great platforms, so you can download their apps directly from the Google or the iOS store now. Snap um, your, your credit card or your debit card, upload some cash into there, and that, that becomes your digital bank, essentially. And nobody can get into that besides you. You're using a QR code to make your payments. If you go into a live, you're just deducting it from your online wallet. And the money is there for, for, you know, for you to use whenever you want to. As people find the need to limit face-to-face -face interaction, the kiosk concept will become a familiar customer interface in Rev and Alive locations, grocery stores, gas stations, and the like. It's a really simple experience. We've designed it to be as simple as possible to really help Rev and Alive customers through using a new method. And I encourage everybody to use them. They will appear in every Alive store and everyone that's in the Alive store will allow Alive and Rev um, bills to be paid. Paying bills will come down to entering a name, account and mobile number. Then on the right hand side, it shows you the, avail the account balance and you have the option to pay either with cash or with credit card. So we're paying with cash. We're gonna pay with cash. Okay. So now you're going to insert the amount of cash that you want to actually pay your bill into the machine. The well-known Alive phones at cashier stations 
are now personal pay stations. With this device, you can actually buy a plan or you can top up. And now we have the ability for our customers to actually pay their rev bill on these devices as well. And you can also um, make Digicel purchases, send top up and send plan to family members and friends in Haiti. And the Alive app now has rev payment capabilities. Select submit. It does a validation process on the back end and it actually displays the balance due. So you have the option to pay with your credit card at this point. The ability to adapt, be agile and respond to an ever-changing environment will mean the difference in survival for many businesses. See, there's an opportunity to invite people to go on the journey with us as a customer. When you are in a leadership position like we are uh, from a uh, technology perspective and we have such a, a diverse group of customers. Obviously, we, we anticipate there are going to be some challenges with this, Jerome, but we have got to leverage our position, I think, to really drive transformation in our country. Yet, there is a lot of uncertainty in the challenges a post-COVID-19 world will bring. Our challenge is going to be, as tourists come back, how do we manage the spread of COVID-19? So we're still going to be pushing what we call social distancing, washing of hands, making sure that our technicians have the, the right and effective PPEs on. And so, we want to invite our customers on a really on a real digital journey with us. Well, help is going to be done by YouTube videos or even WhatsApp phone calls and really try to see if we can help you from a technical perspective to make a difference and to be able to make sure that your service standards are not uh, reduced as a result of uh, our new realities.